Hi everybody. So today's question is here. If here is a square of side length 1 and we draw a circle at the bottom corner of the square and it is tangent to the two sides of the square and we draw a line from the vertex of our square such that it is tangent to the bottom circle and we draw in another circle that is tangent to this blue line and tangent to another two sides of the square. So question is that if these two circles are identical then find the length of this blue line and that is our question. And wait, today's question also contains a hint. So hint is that if somewhere in the question you get a perfect cubic polynomial then you are allowed to use Cardon's cubic formula which is this. And alternatively you can make a graph using many applications or use Wolfram Alpha for finding real roots and this is allowed only for cubic equations. So please give your trial to this question and keep watching for the solution. So first we move on to our solution. We need to prove our result. So consider a circle and consider a point A at the exterior of the circle. Draw two lines tangent to the circle. Consider a point O at the center of the circle and draw radius to that tangent and we know that radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Now join the points A and O. Now in triangle AOB and triangle AOC, BO is equal to CO, radius of the circle and angle ABO is equal to angle ACO which is equal to 90 degrees by tangent theorem and AO is a common side therefore triangle AOB is congruent to triangle AOC by SSS congruency rule. So AB is equal to AC by corresponding parts of congruent triangles and this is a result that we need to prove. Now here is our original figure and we drop the perpendicular to the tangent. Now consider the radius of the circle be R. So this side be also equals to R and suppose that this side be A. So this side is also equals to A by our this result. And suppose that this side be B. So this side is equals to A plus B by again our this result. And we know that these two circles are identical. So this line is also equals to R. And similarly, this line is also equals to R. And suppose that this line be C. So this line is also equals to C again by our this result. Now, join these two centers of the circle. And this complete line is a straight line. Because whenever we drop a straight line in a square, this is always perpendicular to the opposite sides. And this complete line is also perpendicular to the opposite sides. So we can say that this complete blue line is a straight line. Now join these two lines and these two opposite lines are equal and also parallel by alternative interior angles. So we can say this complete figure is a parallelogram. Now looking in our this triangle, in the smaller triangle, now the hypotenuse is C plus B by 2 because our one side is C and another side is B by 2 because we know that diagonals of the parallelogram are bisect by each other and the base is C as you can see and the altitude is R plus AB, 2AB plus B by 2 again the diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other so this side is R plus A plus B by 2 and looking in our this bigger triangle hypotenuse of this bigger triangle is C plus B plus A and the altitude is R plus A plus B and our base is 1 because we know that side of the square is 1. Now we know that these two triangles are similar so we can use similarity rules in these two triangles. So C by 1 is equal to C plus B by 2 by C plus B plus A. Now simplifying them so we get this and this. Now looking in our original triangle we know that 1 is equal to C plus A. So C is equal to 1 minus R and using this result 
by substituting the value of c so we get this and now using a minus b whole square formula so we get this now opening the parenthesis so we get this now cancelling 2 and 2 on both sides and substituting minus 4r with minus 2r and plus 2b with this plus b on another side so after that we get this and we make some pairs and from first pair we take 2rs common and from third pair we take 2as common and these two terms are equal so we can take minus r plus 1 common from these both terms so we get this now again looking in our figure we have 1 is equals to 2r plus 2a plus b by looking on the right side of the square so we have 1 minus 2r minus b is equals to a and using this for substituting this value of 2a so substitute this by this so we get this now again opening the parenthesis so we get this complete term now doing basic arithmetic simplification so we get this so from this we can set b is equals to 4r square minus 5r plus 1 by r and let this be our equation first now again looking in our figure so 1 is equals to 2r plus 2a plus b and substitute this value of b with the our equation first so we have 1 is equals to 2r plus 2a plus 4r square minus 5r plus 1 by r so we get this and simply we have a is equals to negative 6r square plus 6r minus 1 by 2r and let this be our equation second now using pythagoras theorem in this bigger triangle so we have c plus b plus a whole square is equals to 1 square plus a plus b plus r whole square now simplifying so we have c square plus b square plus a square plus 2cb plus 2ba plus 2ca is equals to 1 plus a square plus b square plus r square plus 2ab plus 2br plus 2ra now cancelling this b square with b square on another side and this a square with a square and on another side and this 2ba with another side 2ba so we get this now looking again in our original figure so again 1 minus r is equals to c so substituting c with this so we get this now again using a plus b whole square formula so we get this now cancelling this one with this one and this r square with this another r square so we get this now again doing basic arithmetic observations so we get this and now take 2 as common so we get this now take b as common so we get this pair and from another take 2 as common so we get this pair and now take these two pairs common so we get b plus a times 1 minus 2 r is equals to r and putting the value of b that we get in our equation first and value of a that we get in our equation second so now we get this whole stuff and again doing simple simplification so we get this and now multiplying both sides by 2r so we get this now opening the parenthesis so we get this so now we have 2r square minus 4r plus 1 minus 4r cube plus 8r square minus 2r is equal to 2r square now cancelling this 2r square with 2r square and on other sides so now we have negative 4r cube plus 8r square minus 6r plus 1 is equal to 0 and this is a perfect cubic polynomial for which i am talking about and now I want to put this equation in wall frame alpha so we get x is approximately equal to 0.22816 is a real root for that so r is equals to 2.228 and this is approximate value of r so now we get the value of r 
now here is our equation first and here is our equation second putting r is approximately equal to 0.228 on both equation so we have a is equal to this all stuff so a is approximately equal to 0.122 and on another side b is equal to this all stuff so b is approximately equal to 0.298 now again looking in our original figure a is approximately equal to 0.122 and b is approximately equal to 0.298 and r is approximately equal to 0.228 and length of blue line is equals to c plus b plus a and putting the values and c is equals to 1 minus r so blue line is approximately equal to 1.192 and that is our correct answer